Welcome to Hacom IT100 video. Uh, today uh, we'll be exploring the uh, IT100. Uh, it is a uh, older technology. It is based on the uh, Trace Matter 500 megahertz CPU. It has 128 uh, megabyte of SD RAM. It's very useful. Um, to Hacom, uh, we are particularly interested because it has multiple NICs. This is a WAN and this is a, a LAN. It's basically a switch, uh, four switch port hub, uh, but it's only basically it's a two NICs version. Anyway, um, we're going to open it up and see what we got here. So th this is the inside of the uh, IT100. As I mentioned, it has two NICs, uh, the WAN and the LAN, which is partitioned into a four port switch hub. Uh, this unit is complete. It has 128 megabyte of SD RAM. This is the 500 megahertz uh, transmitter CPU. It also complete with the 20 gigabyte hard drive and 32 meg compact flash. It has a, uh, this is a Prism uh, GT mini PCI card. This is recognized by the current Debian, but uh, for FreeBSD uh, to be able to use as a Wi-Fi, it probably would need to be replaced by something, something like an, an Atros uh, mini PCI card. Or you can use this one and uh, put a, a mini PCI, the SoCris VPN 1411, a VPN hardware accelerator. To, to use it as a development uh, system is somewhat uh, difficult because as you can see there is no VGA, no keyboard on the back panel. So to be able to use it as a regular computer, we need to, it has a PCI so we could actually put a, a PCI uh, based VGA card there. And I will show, you know, this is what we do at Harcom. We basically have a put a PCI VGA card there and then use a um, USB keyboard so that we can actually look at what uh, we're doing. The question is how do you install um, software on it? This one is on the unit and the BIOS is somewhat uh, locked. You cannot really access the BIOS and it does not boot up from the uh, USB drive. So. To, to use it, you have to actually use a, what we did was that we have an internal uh, CD-ROM, we just use an internal DVD CD, CD writer, and I'll show you uh, shortly. But anyway, to use that, there are two, this is two uh, IDE uh, connectors, they are 44 pin, basically for laptop. So normally when it boot up, it will boot up from, this is the primary, and this one is a secondary, so it will put up from the primary IDE uh, channel. So to use this up, what we did was start to loosen the uh, compact flash card. And this is what uh, we use to uh, install software. It's basically an IDE um, CD-ROM, uh, DVD-ROM writer. Um, and we, we have a 44 pin to uh, 40 pin connector. We actually have to use this uh, because uh, to, to supply the power to, to the um, DVD-ROM. As you can see, there's, a, there's one right here, but that is not enough power in, in the 44 pin connector to actually power the, the DVD-ROM. So, so how do you do it? There's a, a power connector right here. So what you do is connect it right here and then just plug this one. They have key. So, so you can just basically connect them right right there. And uh, so that's you know that basically should work. And then you can basically 
uh, install the, the uh, well actually it's upside down so you can actually install the, the put the CD-ROM there and then you can boot it up because it will coming up first from the IDE primary drive and then you can basically shut install the software directly into the hard drive if you plan to use the hard drive only then the compact flash need to be removed uh, because it, as I mentioned it will coming up first looking at the uh, IDE uh, connector first and then if it doesn't find anything there, it will go to the, the uh, second uh, secondary IDE. And if you have a compact flash there, even though it's empty, it will stop. Because it thinks that something is uh, it's supposed to be coming up from the uh, compact flash. So it's better to remove it from the socket. So it, so when it doesn't detect anything on the second primary IDE, then it will be coming up from the uh, secondary IDE uh, drive. A anyway, this is... Uh, this is this conclude the uh, demonstration of the how you can use the IT100. Uh, um, as I mentioned again, um, th this is basically a development uh, platform. You can use it to load many things. Uh, we uh, tend to load, you know, uh, firewall software like IPCOP, Motorwall, PFSEN. PSN is somewhat limited because you have 128 megabyte right there. It's right hit right at the limit of PSN, and actually you lose about 16 uh, meg of memory because the transmitter is actually doing some soft type morphing code. So it basically um, it it bas basically steal about 16 meg of the uh, memory for for the morphing code. Anyway, you know th this is very this platform is very utility. Um, it it has a lot of potential, and, and it's also a good way to to learn how to to do um, embedded uh, programming development because you can see this is headless, so it is really um, a nice platform to play around with, and it's also complete. When you get this unit, that's all you need. You you may for development you may need the um, PCI VGA card and the DVD ROM. Uh, I we use an IDE, but you can use also a SATA. You just need a, con a SATA converter to convert from um, SATA to IDE and from the IDE 40 pin to IDE uh, 44 pin. Anyway, this uh, concludes the demonstration. Thank you.